what's happening, what's happening, everybody, man? I'm your host, Gator J231. You know what I mean? This is the Starving Artist Podcast. Happy New Year, Christmas. Feliz Berry, Mommy Dunn, all that good shit, man. Y'all know what we talking about, man. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all that good shit, man. It's a new year, man. Man, 2020, man. What's been going on, man? Man, we got my boy Pimp in the building. Pimp, what's been going on? Yeah, I do dogs, man. Spending money on a dog, but 
What's a weevil? Yeah. It's a it's a it's a gimbal. A who? It's a gimbal. What's a gimbal? It's a gimbal. <laughs> a stabilizer. Okay. You put your camera on there, okay. and it's like you can hold it while you walking. Like you could bounce up and down, doing all that, still. but it's gonna stay perfectly still. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like seamless. Like you just kind of like. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured that's what you meant when mm -hmm. I seen you. Made the hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to make it clear. Make the world yeah, know. Right. Yeah. So that's what it is. When you hold it, everybody see what's happening on the outside. Everybody see like the finished product, but no one ever sees what's going on behind the scenes. People being that motion, doing stuff like this. Yeah. That ninja walking, like yeah, trying to make it real still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So look, you, you went to school for this, or you just picked it up, like Man. you said, from your people, and just I did. Learned everything on your own. One semester, one semester of fundamentals of photography when I was in uh, when I was uh, in Colorado. Like I said, I did eight years in the army, and they sent me to Colorado to you know do whatever I got to do in the army. Uh, I did one semester of that motherfucker, and then after that, I realized I said, man, I can YouTube the rest of this shit. So I changed, I changed my major now. I was like, man, I'm not. I was majoring in uh, photography and uh, videography, but I was like, I just learned the rest of the stuff on my own and just changed to something like like business administration or whatever. Right. I mean, right. with everything else, I feel like photography, videography. Learn on YouTube. Right. Right. Learn from somebody uh, next to you, somebody who's been doing it. Pick up a mentorship, uh, freaking, uh, what you call it, intern or whatever. I don't really, I don't think you need it. It'll get you in the doorway having that degree. Mm -hmm. It will. But the real skill you're going to practice, you're going to learn just in the field. Right. Right. Trial and error. You're going to learn, you're going to learn, you're going to learn. But you got to pick up the camera, you got to be out there. You got a YouTube, and the beauty of YouTube is free. It's free game for that. Yeah, Whatever question you gotta ask, somebody else has already asked it. Um, damn, yeah, man, it's just it's just really been an experience, and I'm, I'm still learning. I was talking to a buddy of mine now, he in uh, Savannah. He does photography as well, and he was in the army with me as well. We down there in the same platoon, um, and we just be talking every morning. It's like. It's like a 9, 9 a.m. morning phone call, like a conference call. All we do was talk about like, hey man, did you did you upload this? Did you edit that? Hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? I got this house I gotta shoot. Uh, how do I do bracketing? You know, to make the houses look cool for real estate. Oh, we always talking about like different memory cards, flying a drone around neighborhoods, all this. Gotta get a pilot license, like an actual pilot right. license. Like you got to yeah, support yeah. commercial flying. Yeah. Now, I could take it around, like, you know, for my own personal stuff, and ain't nobody going to give a shit. But for, like, any jobs, they like, yeah, you got to have, like, a pilot license, like, part, part 107, something, something, something. It ain't but, like, $150 to get. It. But uh, you get that license, and now you're a commercial drone flyer. Right. So, you right. legit. Right. so do you got to take a test for that? Yeah, you got to take a test. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. the actual, what's your... No, no, no. It's a hand. Like you, you open up the book, study a little bit. Can't take the book there, but you open it up, study, memorize the information, and then just regurgitate it. Yeah, but no, you don't. Like, that, that little drone, the little. So, what type of stuff did I ask you on the test like this? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Aeronautical, windage. Um, it was really like if you really finna fly like a jumbo plane. It ain't got shit to do with drones. Right, right. It's like, you need to be like, how don't wait on passengers and stuff yeah. like that. I'm like, man, I'm finna fly like this. 15 pounds, not even less than that. It's 25, 250 gram drone. But I still gotta learn how to, like, it almost perfect to learn how to, like, fly like real planes. So that's why I was finna ask you, does that license, does it have a restriction? Like, you can't tell somebody I'm a pilot?
like you said, using the stabilizer, it's all just a good experience. And to me, it's more than like a job. It's it's a form of art. Right. It really is, especially like when you're dealing with uh. I mean, you just gotta like, like, cause some people, especially like women, they like post sex and all that other stuff. Because most women, they've never been in front of a, most people, period, they've never been in front of a professional uh, camera shoot. Right. Never at all. So it's, uh, I mean, once you understand that, always take a, a couple of time, a couple, uh, couple minutes to be like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my phone. I'm gonna show you some of these poses. And if you need help, I'm gonna set up this mirror. Just, you know, just do some real like Vogue magazine, GQ magazine type stuff, Esquire magazine. That's what I really want my work, you know. Right. I feel like uh, once you made your, once you put your face and your work on the cover of Vogue magazine, then yeah, you're, you, you, you made it. So you stay here, we gonna remember you said that. Yeah, oh yeah, That's yeah. what we working for, uh, right? So how you made it into any magazines, anything like that, Jit? Nah, Jit, okay, okay. But it's on the way. It's, it's on the website, way. right? On websites and uh, web pages. I don't even have a website yet. Okay. So how do you people get in contact with you? They want to be on Instagram, on. underscore yeah. L Vision. Underscore L Vision. You can't mess it up. Right. And that's it, yeah. man. Easiest way. And then you can book. Once you check out my work, I got the, the, what's it, uh, the, the book now icon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Book the website. Uh huh. And yeah, it take you straight to books. Yep. Or I could just send you a shortcut. I could text you a shortcut. And then to pull up my booksy, uh, my booksy information, so you don't even have to download the app and just make it real easy for you, real okay, easy, okay. real easy. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. So, what what's some of your ups and downs of uh, becoming a photographer? Some of the ups and downs. Sometimes running out of running out of inspiration. So what I will do is. I'll look at some magazines. I'll look at them real quick and be like, okay. Because I, I feel like sometimes I, I do run out of like, uh, uh, like, okay, how should I post this person? How should I do it? Depending on like, like if that person's not in the mood for this or that, then I gotta sit back. I gotta recalibrate what I'm doing. Um, but I do be getting a little impatient a little bit. I'm like, man, right, you know, you never posed before? You don't know. Smile. A lot of people, I'm telling you. Like you yeah. said, they ain't never been in front of no professional They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional photographer. They ain't never been in front of no professional Wow, man, just hire a professional photographer. It'll do you a whole lot better. Because everybody ain't got that professional type money. You feel me? Then yeah, how, 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 you, how you go about that? Like, you got different bundle deals, different, different packages. packages yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, for like holiday specials, uh, I did mine. Um, it'd be like $200, and then you'll get uh, like 30 images. And I'm, I'm reasonable. You feel what I'm saying? I'm reasonable. But so, okay, so how I operate is. Uh, I'll bring the backdrops and everything to you. You know, we set it all up in a comfort of like a living room, dining room, kitchen, wherever it's space, garage, whatever. And then I set up the backdrops. Uh, I give everybody like, hey, I'm on the way. So I give you about, once I get there, I say, give me, even before the session start, I always say, give me about an extra 20, 30 minutes. So I end up, you know, giving them an extra, even if the session is an hour, I would really say an hour and a half. And that extra half hour, that extra 30 minutes, that's when I'm setting up all the bad drops. Even if it's like props, uh, flowers, or the Christmas stuff coming on, it might be like Christmas boxes, Christmas, Christmas gifts, or whatever, little reindeers, or whatever. And I just set it all up, get them all in place, and then I take the photos. Uh, for like Valentine's special, I think I'm gonna do that special for like uh, maybe a buck 50 for, for a couple, re regular couple prices, I do it for 270. You know what I'm saying? And to me, I think that's reasonable. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna pay that same price when you go to a, a, a actual studio. Cause you gotta book the studio and you gotta pay for the photography. So you're putting them both together. So you still spend about 250, 270, $300. But that depends on exactly how many people we take a photo of. If it's just couples, small kids, yeah, you're probably looking at like, maybe 150, $200. $220 for like a single person. And then I got all type of like packages. It's all on my books now, so you see all like my pricing and all the other good stuff. 
So shoot, you look at go and get into a song real fast, man. What what we get in the day? Man, man, give me something good, give me something funky. Let me hear a song. Hit me, Shmee. It's been a minute. Yeah. Hit him, Shmee. Yeah. 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 What you got for me, man? Hey, now niggas ain't got no ambition. Y'all boys told me the song. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm trying to get rich. Where's the mama that's sick in the kitchen? Two hot the money don't live in this bitch. They tuck in their lies. You must finish it. But I don't know this is money. I'm going to finish it. That's what they're going to have to finish it. Fuck it up with your ears. Um, 
it's kind of hard to explain if you never actually, you know, picked up a camera. But right. 20 is more of a like, it's an ultra wide. So I would use this for like uh, uh, real estate. If I really want like as much of the room as I possibly can get. You know what I'm saying? I set my little tripod up in the corner. All I brought was those two. I ain't really bring too much. I could buy like a little flash. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And if you used all Sony, I see. All Sony, all Sony. That's one of the better brands of your choice. I ain't gonna say it's one of the better. You know what it is? And people ask me all the time why you use Sony? And that's just the first one I picked up. Right, okay. Stick to it. Huh? Just stick to it. So is this the actual first one you picked up and you've been using just this one? Or have you had another Sony before this and just. No, that's the first. Okay, so that's the first Sony I picked up, but I did use another camera before then, but it was like a little $400 camera. I can't even tell you which one it was. Okay. It was just some. I, I, I can't tell you. Uh, right. It was probably like a, a Canon something, but it wasn't for four dollars, and I, I had it, and then uh, I lost it. I don't know what the hell I did with it. <laughs> and then somebody said, and then I, uh, I got one of my army buddies, and uh, they made some phone calls. and was asking, like, "Hey man, so what's like a good camera for weddings?" And so the dude who, uh, who told who told me, he said, "Hey man." You need to get you that, uh, that, that, that Sony, that, uh, that Alpha, so that A mean Alpha, A7 R2, that, and then just Alpha, you like, gotta get you one of those Alphas. I'm like, all right, so I grabbed it. And like I said, that one was like old. Right. It's 2015, so it ain't really, it really ain't old. It's just like them phones, man. Every year they come out with like a new whatever, whatever. Right, whatever. right, right, right. So, Yeah, so they got the A7 R5 now. So I'm gonna get that one for the next, but this is what I've been rocking with. Bro, uh, yeah. 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 They, they, they cost, they cost a little penny. Yeah. It ain't about the gun, it's about the shooter. Yeah, so, yeah, right. yeah. yeah, I understand it. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it costs a little penny, but trust me, it's, it's worth every damn dime. Thanks, it thanks. costs a penny, but worth every dime. Even after you shoot, you gotta know how to edit. Oh, yeah, the editing, yeah, man. I probably after, after I do my shooting, uh, I like spin. So, my turnaround time is usually. Man, it's crazy. It really, it really depends on what it is, though. It, it depends. But I try to do um, maybe sometimes like a week, two weeks. It, it really depends. But I use uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay. Yeah, Adobe got some dope ass products. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lightroom, LRC, Lightroom. I use Lightroom Classic, Photoshop. Uh, yeah, once you edit, get the tweaking. Cause I'll go back and forth with both of them. I'll upload everything into Lightroom, edit it up, then I might send it to Photoshop, do some old stuff, cause Lightroom has some things that Photoshop don't, but Photoshop, y'all heard about Photoshop, man, that motherfucker, it, it, it'll turn a black person white real quick. <laughs> yeah, Photoshop, hey, is, yeah, you know how to use Photoshop, you be really good, and uh, this day and age, man, I feel like every photographer is, <laughs> is kind of spoiled, because they didn't have none of that 30, 40 years ago. Right, right, Even with right, Lightroom, right. you have to you have to pay for it. Uh, you can and you get it one time. Lightroom Smart, or I'm saying Adobe Smart. They said uh, uh, instead of making people pay one time and be done, we gonna make a make it be a subscription. So now you pay it monthly. Yeah, instead of just like a one time thing, so they get more money off of that. I ain't gonna hate, I ain't making money. So see, that gonna get into uh, this little twenty one savage thing, man. So 21 Savage was all on uh, Clubhouse the other day. And let's see what he had to say. Stop playing. Then that sounds like the flu is not going to come around. All right, bro. But you saying y'all undefeated on that side, y'all ain't took no loss. Man, every nigga that we beef with, nigga, 30 of that niggas on smoke, nigga, and don't nothing happen to us, nigga. In real life, nigga. It's real life, nigga. Man, hey, hey, look, Cap, you from Chicago. I advise you to shut the fuck up. I advise you to shut the fuck up, because the niggas that I fuck with, they're not spanking shit. So stop playing. So man, he on he on uh clubhouse talking like that. What y'all think about that? Oh, that shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be on there talking like that. Especially what was going on. Oh, like that. Live, like, mm. Like going on, I so I ain't gonna lie, in my opinion, here, in my opinion, do what I feel like she is. Now, as a as a nigga from the streets, I already know sometimes a nigga press my button and I'm finna go up. Like, right, man, right, fuck right, what right. you come out with, what you wanna do, woo, 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 right. nigga, whatever. So you know, 
Hood niggas know how to do that, DJ. Well, they gonna get to talking and run their mouth. Now, being in, the, being in the light that you're in and the person who you are, and you see what all the niggas in Atlanta going through, plus you got open cases yourself, like, I, would I wouldn't be on that type of shit. Yeah, <laughs> shit, I ain't Charlemagne, but I would get that done again today, type yeah, shit. Right. Yeah, I like, I believe, like, she is. I think you're a little retarded, but you've been speaking on shit like that. Rick, in the street, they can use that against me. Man, he did this a couple yeah. of weeks ago. They already yeah. use a nigga lyrics. Facts. They know they can use that. Facts. And we in Atlanta. We ain't in New York. In New York, they can't use your niggas against you no more. But we in Atlanta. And these motherfuckers around here trying to fry niggas, man. Atlanta, they use the lyrics. Man, shout out to my boy Chubb, man, too. Man, free thug. Man, free that boy, man. All these niggas around here rapping shit. Man, 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 on that nigga, man. We don't fuck with rats, man. Yeah, I got feel about that shit. What? About that little YSL, man. That nigga right now, man. I ain't gonna lie. I hate all them niggas that ran on, but yo, that little perk incident that he just had, that was, shit crazy. boy, that was the stupidest fucking motherfucker. They ain't fuck him up though, but that was, was crazy. That, was he for real? It though? don't matter, nigga. That's yeah, a that contraband. That's another job. That was that. They ain't talking with it though, but that oh, they ain't hitting with it. Nah, nah, they ain't. They ain't do nothing about it. I gotta talk more about it because I, I have no idea. Hold on, what happened? So basically, uh, I'm familiar with the YSL shit going on. And uh, Young Thug was in court. Mm-hmm. And I get one of his co-defendants walked by, walked by him and gave him doubt. But when he gave him doubt, he passed off some perks or something like no. that. No. In the middle of the courtroom. In the middle of the courtroom. So these folks rushed down on him. Like, what, what did you hang you type shit? And he, and he gave, gave, gave it to him. him. You feel me? Like, shit. I don't know what, 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 what was the co-defendant going to after he handed? He was going back to his shit. Going back to his dog. Going back to his dog, Going back to his dog, yeah. Like he was going back to his seat. They were in the courtroom. Door. Like, he just don't go over there to that door like that. He walked, he, walk, he came from the back, walked up, down the ball, we didn't walk back. I don't know why he thought he was going to get that off. Uh, Fast. This shit on national TV right Fast. now. Fast. Like, this shit big. Yeah. This ain't just no bad case. Hell no, nah, man. <laughs> I, I pray for that boy, Doug, because boy, he got too many rights. I think he's going to get a battle of them. I ain't going to lie, bro. Even if they hit him with some little bullshit, he's going to get a battle of them. Shit, like I said, they done dropped, what, 57 other charges? It don't matter, 57 other charges, you can't wait, you get, you get the 15 feet. Huh? He catch one charge, you don't get the 15 feet at least. I don't really think Now, I I hope we don't. But... And what y'all think about the Tory Lane's guilty verdict? Oh, boy. Oh, that was surprising. That was surprising. That was, that was, that was, yeah. But then once you hey, hey, heard the hey. shit that came out afterwards. Yeah, that shit crazy. You was like, well, Tory Lane, you the stupid nigga, boy. Anytime you make a phone call from jail, it tell you recorded. you're being recorded, being recorded nigga. Bro. And you and this motherfucker talking how you talking. Yeah, yeah, you talking yeah, too open, nigga. Life. Yeah, you Bro, you a, you you grown. You you keep yelling. I'm from Toronto or wherever. I'm from Canada. I'm a gangster. You should know. You can't talk on no phone. Now, when you fir- first time going to jail, I might be able to give you that. You might not know shit going behind the ball. But literally, when you make that call out of jail, they let you know this bitch is real recorded, be recorded. and yeah. it will be used against you. She get recorded. Anyway, we can. Shit get recorded. Like okay. right, motherfuckers ain't seeing it. Listen, nigga, you a main, you a. Uh, yeah, okay, big too. Fan, you okay? You yeah. a fucking star. Yeah. Hey, listen to your shit. Fan. You wanna know what happened? Fan, yo, it's like crazy shit, like. All that shit. It's a lot of shit been going down in this rap game, like. Take oh, that shit was fucked up. Fast. Uh, I think that shit was set up. Couple, oh. couple people got that overdose. Uh, Big Scar and Gangsta Boo. Yeah, Gangsta Boo. Why do you think Take Off was set up? I think a lot. I think a lot of crimes targeted within our hip hop and our musical community are uh, targeted at black people. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. So now, like, not, not so much by our people. But by the labels and shit? Labels, 
So I will say most three and all them boys was all under QC. And if you knock one of the Migos off, it ain't no more Migos. So I kind of understand the theory with that. But I'm not saying that was the theory. But I can understand where people would come up with that. I don't think so because the simple fact that a lot of these niggas that in their music now, that shit different, but they still kind of playing with the street. Yeah. They still got street niggas around them. Like, you feel me? That but that would make it even like, more that was, easy. That so like, but that was, take all that shit was a whole whack ass, accident. bitch ass niggas you out did. here. You pay them the right dollar amount. You think it was an accident? I ain't, them niggas ain't pulled a shot take off, man. You feel know what I'm saying? Oh, no, he wasn't. He, 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 he wasn't pulled to get shot. No. Nah. So who out of all shot? people, man. I ain't saying who pulled to get shot, but out of all people, take off who pulled to get shot. He yeah. wasn't doing no arguing. You feel me? And I think that's why he hurt the community the he most because he was a white yeah, one. Yeah, he ain't never in the spotlight. Yeah, like, he was like, yeah. Like, you will never really hear about him. And it's funny, like, me and my brother, we were talking about, like, anybody, I thought it would have been, uh, uh, not, uh, no, not Quavo, but I was sick. If, if anybody, yeah, 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 if anybody yeah, yeah, got, yeah, 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 I'm like, man, yeah, yeah, anybody anybody like, the raw raw one. Rats that's around in the street, gang. That's 
just like in the rap game there. Yeah, yeah. Look at City Nine now. Look at all them boys. Like, yeah. Hey. It's, it's a street fact. But the streets don't always be no more, but yeah. And shit, no matter what we say, the streets ain't got no rules. No matter what the fuck we say, the streets ain't got no rules. No matter how I live, I can live by my rules, but shit, the next nigga don't live by my rules. That nigga principle might be the same with your shit. And niggas don't really understand that until they old and it's too late. Oh, when they in there sticky situations. Fast. Like, damn, that nigga telling on me. <laughs> but shit, even then, every time niggas get out of the situation, go right back to that same shit again. Man, they ain't crazy. Fast. But she, matter of fact, it's a, it was another conversation that they had. It was a chick, uh, and what you just showed me? It was a chick who, uh, husband would have paid 250000 for a wedding, right? Yeah. You gonna play it? Yeah. yeah play and see what you got on. You want that's how much it costs. Uh-huh. You're bugging the f- We gonna invest that. My job as a man is to hold the household down, and she hasn't worked in years. I'm not spending a quarter million dollars on a f- when I'm not doing it. So, 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 so you have no plans on getting married. I'm not a single bitch. That's the city like I'm telling you right now. At the end of the day, I love you more than life itself. Mm-hmm. But you gotta be easy with all this. Love ain't enough. Me. How long you plan? Damn. Damn. So she invited that with love and hip hop. And she basically she called him a broke nigga because he wouldn't spend two hundred and fifty thousand on the way. And I ain't gonna lie. She wanna marry him, but now he a broke nigga. You <laughs> call me a broke nigga, but I might call you a bitch after that. Look here, bitch. Don't you ever in your life call me a broke nigga. <laughs> that one, I ain't gonna lie. Bitch, calling a nigga a broke nigga, right? I ain't gonna lie. Bro, nigga, nigga, bro, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think all women know if you if you know a nigga you call him a broke nigga they really like fuck with his self esteem. Yeah, yeah. Even if you ain't broke, you, you, ain't broke you fuck with your self esteem. Man, like, bro, bitch, you can't yeah, call man. me broke. What the fuck you call me broke? Bro? Man. Nah, bitch, you really man. just being stingy because you want a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar wedding for me just to say the same man. shit that we doing now. When we spend two hundred, that's a quarter of a million dollar. For me to just say I do for the same day. shit we already do. <laughs> for like, what they say I do. He been spent. He probably done spent up to two hundred fifty. I was about to say. I mean, but I don't shit that he done did. Right. So she's what he like, did. She what he did. She, he pulled the paper. Wedding. She stayed. No. <laughs> ain't been there so, for a while. Ain't been there for a while. She carried him for a while. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. She was holding it down. Oh, she had it back, or did she carry him? That's two different things. Well, she, she, look, they was. <laughs> I'm saying he was fucked up. She was holding him down. She was holding him down. He was fucked up for a minute. She was holding him down. Then he got his shit back together. That's that why he knows so he know he, what it feel like to be fucked up. He like, right, he, right. I ain't going that. I ain't trying to go back. I mean, I, I completely understand. I'm not going to pay 250 either, but the thing yeah. is. Now, baby, you can have a nice wedding. Oh, we can do yeah, some you, shit. You have a nice wedding for less than a quarter million. One fifty. Now I ain't gonna lie, all the way. You can't have one fifty. We finna get ten grand out of this motherfucker. You finna be in hand right in that. We finna be in the red. Yeah, he got it. Who is this guy, man? I'm trying to get. I'm trying to find his name. I ain't been watching no other hip hop. Oh, I ain't tuned in. I've been on a reality show, and I know how they fake this shit. How yeah, 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 you, yeah. they no, literally, nigga, even if the people on the the producers and shit might not know about it, the motherfucker behind the scenes, you and your like, hey, up and up up right. time, hey, yeah, yeah. Or even the Content. producer might be like, yeah, we glad y'all talk this shit out, but uh. We need y'all to make this shit more for yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Make it for TV. Make it for TV. Facts. So that shit be fake drama to me. So I'm like. You got a lot of it. It's scripted. Facts. Yeah, I ain't going to say it's scripted because on the show I was on, it wasn't scripted. But the thing was, 
They might took some shit that I said two weeks ago bring and bring it out when my back is turned yep. at this moment. Yeah, this and shit. I ain't even said this shit. I, I might be like, man, I'm finna fuck some shit up in here tonight. That shit was old couple yeah, nights ago. Two chillin'. weeks ago, I'm really chilling. Just like, man, I'm finna fuck some shit up in here. And really, I'm sitting here and she having a different conversation. I ain't even mad type shit. And she might boom. I'm finna fuck some shit up in here tonight. <laughs> really, I ain't said no shit like this. <laughs> And, and even when you watch the show, you're like, man, I ain't, I ain't never said no shit like this. They done <laughs> put this shit together the smooth way. What? Yeah, gotta keep the views up, man. Man, so, yeah, because yeah. people want drama. Right. I think, I, do you think we could have a show where there wasn't drama? Nope. Nah, man. They ain't, and they ain't niggas good. would watch it? Nope. They ain't, gonna, they ain't no. gonna watch that shit. Nah, man. it ain't no fun. Why would they do that? I think if I could get they a good show, but to me, nigga, this you. ain't no real action. For the simple fact, soon y'all niggas get to fight and they break y'all niggas up. No, let the security right. stand back. Right. And let's right. even really get they ass whooped. Hey, on that, on that one shit, what is that, Zoo TV? Uh, uh, they be showing out a little reality joints on that bit. Put, I don't all, know. All the shows be Put me on. Yeah. No, I'm right. talking about real fight. I ain't talking about like this shit out. where I know security been to pull me out. Break it up. Man. They let get no, out. I don't even want security to break this shit up. Y'all gonna do? We gonna act like this was a real fucking thing. I'm not. I'm gonna let y'all niggas do what y'all do. Can't let them fuck. Yes, I can. If y'all two decide to press charges against each other. If y'all two decide to press charges against each other, that's on y'all. If if. Nah, black ain't some bullshit too. All that shit was fake. You think so? Yeah, all that shit fake shit too. Mm-hmm. I, I tell you too, I'm trying to tell you that, that shit was bullshit too. So they ain't catch charges. Man, that, of course you gonna catch charges. Yeah, charge. But like charge. all that shit that you see is not hyped up like it is. Oh, I know that. Man. So that be my whole thing with it. Y'all hype this shit up, man. Mm-hmm. Like. I went to jail, motherfucker gonna tell me in the courtroom, nigga, you facing 70 years. Right. Guess <laughs> yeah, what? I'm That's saying it in my head, nigga, once you catch it, once they try to plead you out, you ain't finna do no real time <laughs> like this. Get the fuck out of my face, you trying to scare me. Right. <laughs> but they be like, man, they charge holes up to 70 years. <laughs> you get so what? Right. Yeah, you so, can't get up to 70 years. Right. And that's how they hit you on TV. Yeah, man, he's facing. Spook, yeah. He hit you with 70 he's years. No, no, no. Oh, shit, he got yeah. 70 yeah. years. Yeah. Really, this nigga that already took a nail. Yeah. Five years on probation, yeah. due like to plea. And nigga go home. Yeah. 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 But, in the motherfucker who ain't never been in jail and knows real shit, yeah. 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 Yeah.
They go in, they're going to give you a plea. Just how they feel like. Because they're going to keep you guys yeah. coming back. But they'll, yeah. Because, see, you if, I, get, if I lock you up and say you your ass to jail, you can stay out of trouble for 20 years. 20 <laughs> years plus, yo, when I was on probation, I'm paying too. almost $500 a month in restitution. Yeah, they want but, nigga, I ain't stole shit. They want I ain't crashed no whips. I ain't did shit. I just went to jail. But now, I've been on probation five years, and I just spent down $500 a fucking month. Right. What the fuck? They want that paper. They right. They let you not pay them. Hey. <laughs> boy. You buy what you do, Brian. Hey, boy. They're going to catch you charge, man. They gonna Ain't no back pay. <laughs> Ain't no back pay, shit. Nigga, we finna get you now. Come on, shit. And then, anytime you fuck up on probation, they got the right to start your probation over. Yeah. Oh, Not yeah. They started over some yeah. business. They, they can do it. They can. It's always been like always that. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. shit, they tell you on your paperwork, like, at any point you fuck up, we can revoke your probation and send you straight to prison, or we can then give you a damn uh, RSVP. And then, it's not RSVP. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit, look, but I'm the other person calling you. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what, what's the, I don't know uh, I thought that was uh, uh, Violation of probation. Yeah, VOP. Yeah, VOP. Yeah. 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 You can get one of those. They then lock your ass up for 60 to 90 days. And then they can start your probation over again after that. Okay. Now you got a whole nother five years. The $500 and all that shit. Man. You fuck around and damn shit yeah, in the wrong damn trouble, toilet so you in trouble in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. And then the crazy shit is all these young niggas, that's all they want to do is a body right now. Yeah. That's why all these niggas dying right now, all these young kids. Cause all these rappers got them thinking that like shit. To, to get respect, I need a body. Yeah, Back in the day, boy, I need to fight a nigga now. But you see, you, you ain't got no body, nigga, you ain't cool. Yeah, to tell on that. Fact. <laughs> and can't hold yeah, up and change that. Right. You know, a, a friend of mine told me the easiest crime to get away with is murder. All you got to do is not tell nobody. Man, what? That's it. <laughs> Fact. But the problem is, see, having these niggas do it with other people. Hey, it is a different day inside now, man. Fact. It could be what for So she decided to fake her death, right? I seen that shit, right? But the motherfucker went and killed somebody, somebody for real like that looked like, like her. her. Yeah, put her in her car or some shit. Fan. <laughs> like these folks ain't for the check DNA and shit, man. What? Yeah, I seen that shit. Fan. That's some stupid shit. That's man, crazy. she went and found the girl. She went and found the girl look like her. Out <laughs> Instagram. Yeah. How you doing? Killed her. Fan. Put that in her back and see. To fake her death. Yeah. <laughs> these folks done did all toxic DNA yeah. tests. Man, this ain't fact, true. Well, it's one thing to fake your death. Yeah. Most people don't get hurt in the, yeah. in the faking of a death. But look, all she had to do is go missing. Man. You ain't had to kill nobody. Hold hey, on. Get the fuck off. Now you done killed the chick that look like you. You done no way reason. too much. That's crazy. For no reason. That was the stupidest shit I ever you seen. You don't even know that. You don't even know her. Well, what are y'all thoughts on the Chinese? Oh boy, so you know the reason why they beat him? Yeah, I, I, I know, I do. I do. Well, I do. So I'm oh, from Mississippi. The, uh, the yeah, so I'm yeah, from Mississippi. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we knew like this about a long time ago. So what happened was so one was of the police way. officers, yeah. So one of the police officers was the girl, the girl ex. Yeah. But she, Tyreek and the girl was, in relations. They was messing around like official type shit. Right. But the police nigga didn't like it and went and got his friends to whoop the nigga ass in handcuffs and shit. Yeah, that shit was worse than the Rodney King yeah, shit. They 
He sent he Jesus sent the picture of that nigga on the ground to her. To her. Man, he just oh, wow. tripped out, man. Yeah. Like that damn pussy some powerful shit. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I never say I don't want it because it's that power, but hey, it's that power. It got to happen. It got to happen. Shit. Hey. That little boy, hey, I ain't crashed out like that by the door. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Baby, it, it, been like it been some night. It been some night. I'm ready to shoot some shit over here. Nah, you ain't. You can't. <laughs> you can't be telling that. Damn, no. See, like, hold on. I would like Pimp C now. I'm not fighting over the hoe. I'm fighting over the respect. Bang. Yeah, yeah. Where the respect was at? Nah, now, if you ain't mine, right. then you my ex. I ain't tripping over it. You better put respect in the B, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to say, God, she going first. <laughs> he talking about she going first. Man. She going first. That dude, now he want to jump in and say, oh. I ain't staying here. It's you who I want. He was doing his job by trying to get that the pussy. Crazy, though, man. That's wild. But, yo. And then the little uh, camera on the street, like, had done caught that shit. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, that, that view that you saw, like, the way. Yeah, man, that's what no, the actual yeah, car was there. Him, 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 him and like five other cars. Yo, it was five cars. Five cars. It but was, they showed yo. him tagging him, though, on the video. Man, they were beating the shit You ain't seen the video? I seen the video I'm talking about. The yeah, ex-boyfriend, yeah. Man, they got to. all of them. Because they got the body cams right, on right, everybody. So they got all that shit. The because they camera. put some... Imagine if they didn't have that other camera, yo. Because the whole time they tell him he ain't had to, but they tell him, give me your hand, yeah, stop yeah. resisting. Yeah. He's but done. he's already in handcuffs, yeah. he's not resisting. Right. But y'all whooping his ass, so, yeah, like he ain't the in handcuffs. Yo, he turned around, he was like, you doing too much. Like, he wasn't resisting to anything. Right, he was right, just right. like, Right. But they were whooping the dog shit out that nigga. Man, and he was 80 yards from his mama's house and he was yelling for her mama. Right. But she didn't hear him. So they came to his neighborhood. Well, they was already. They were 80 yards from the house, yeah. 80 yards and shit from here to the front the street. Not even that damn far. Because 80 yards led to the football field. But so it, shit. The, the disrespect, though. Y'all sitting around. But I ain't gonna lie, yo. I, I knew it had to be some bro. person when they were like, man. All these were black officers? All of them. Like, they black officers jumping on a black man. But hold on. One of the other officers, yeah, this not nah, the first time. It had to be some serious shit, yeah. <laughs> but this ain't the first time. One, I know one of the officers for sure. This not the first case he been in where uh, inmates say they whooped the dog shit out of him. Yeah. So. And what you heard me? You got to think about them places down there like they shit. Yeah. They do what they want to do. See, nigga, in Atlanta, they do what the fuck man, they want to do. Anywhere you at, right. they do what the fuck they want to do. That shit works. Gee, okay. Big the Hill, yeah. nigga, what you mean? Ain't no worse. Yeah. Ain't no yeah. worse than Big the Hill, yeah. nigga. Yeah. No, yeah. it's yeah. not. I'm yeah. from yeah. that way, yeah. I'm yeah. telling yeah. you, yeah. bro. Somebody yeah. go see yeah. that shit up here. Bro, I'm from that way. It is not yeah. worth yeah. that. No, bro. <laughs> Bro, like down there, bro, you can have your facial hair and all that shit. You can't have none of that shit up here. In here, you fucking freezing. And down there, it's a totally different type of jail. It, ain't, it is totally different. Shit, they don't got to make the hell up out of them. Fat, but them motherfuckers still in hell. I don't know, but They game it, made it, so it, hard, they play game right now. Fat. They got phones. I know it is. Niggas got to stay out of everything in that bitch. Yeah, so like she. Yeah, yeah, Mississippi ain't no worse than Atlanta. That shit all the same. Yeah. Yeah. Memphis yeah. and Mississippi, yeah. it's all the same. Especially when you from down that way. Like I'm from that way, so Mississippi and Memphis down there are one state for me. But shit, that shit get, get crazy to me anywhere in the gym. But certain ones you can get away with most shit. But like Clay Gavin. You had to deal with the police and the niggas in that bitch. Most spots, you got one or the other to deal with. Jeez. I went to Clay County and I was like, boy, fuck this shit. I don't, never want, I don't even want 10 minutes of this shit. <laughs> hey. I like that. Huh? Over 24 hours? Yeah, I was there over 24 hours. Like hey, that. last time I went, I was in there probably about three, four days at the most. Jeez. Cause I went in on the weekend, so I had to wait. Had to wait. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that weekend. Boy, 
Every time I done went, it's been on the weekend, yo. Go around on Friday. Yeah. But yeah. see, the first time, you know, when you go, you know you finna come home because you just got, I just got Mr. Minutes. I'm like, all right. So when the weekend passes it's over. That second time I went, I got nothing but feelings. These motherfuckers like, no bail. I'm gonna just be like, oh, hell no. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Well, I didn't, no at the time, I didn't know, like, shit, when well, you catch feelings, you don't get no bail till you see a judge. So then I was like, fuck, boy. And I'm like, man, now I'm stuck in this bitch already for the weekend. Then I got a company bitch still when they now take you back in that bitch Monday. You don't necessarily see the judge. So I'm like, fuck, I'm stuck in this bitch. But soon they get a nigga a bail, I'm coming home. I let a nigga know quick, I don't give a fuck if it's a million, two million dollar bail. So y'all motherfuckers give me a number, I'm coming home. Kiss my ass, it's not an ill ass a bunch. Getting about it up. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, that was, and that was I, I so crazy. Yeah, I just went out, let me see. Uh, a year now. About a year? Yeah. You, you like this shit so far? Uh, Atlanta? Yeah. Atlanta's straight, man. It, it really is. Atlanta's straight. I guess you've been in the military, so you just traveled around. Yeah, I've been the yeah, state. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so you've been overseas? Yeah. You, so you went to war? Or? No, no, no. I was like, okay. He said he went to war. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, so, war be going on. No, no, no. no. So, when I, so when I joined, when I joined in uh, 2014, yeah, bro. So when I joined, they was bringing all the troops out of Iraq. Yeah, I was about to say, Iraq was the last one. Yeah, Iraq was the last one. I pushed Iraq to freedom. Look here. Uh, <laughs> just because they say it ain't no war, nigga, it's always no, it's, war. No, and it's not. It's war, but shit. I was like, you know, like, you you know, 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 Got to check me out on IG at my name is LS 
YouTube, LS Lane. Check me out. Got some shows coming up soon. And I'll be back sitting here with y'all too. Hey, we'll see you next week. Hey, catch me on Instagram. Hey, catch me on Instagram, man. Uh, I turn my shit. I said, uh, get the underscore. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> doesn't even know. <laughs> get That's the, why I ain't get seen Get the your underscore, head. underscore paper. Yeah. Get the underscore paper? Get the underscore, underscore paper. <coughs> oh, paper, okay. Paper. P A P E. He don't want the top money, he want the under money. That's the good dirty money. I understand. <laughs> man. man, but before you get with me, man, get with us. TSA underscore podcast, man. And this is episode yeah, man, 98, man. Tap, man. Tap in and fuck with us for real, man. If y'all got any comments or questions, oh, hit us, man. Pull up, come DM see us. If you want to get in there, get man. on here, all that shit. But, man, now. Hit the artist that the artist that you love the most, man. Gator J two thirty one, man. And go follow me at Gator J two thirty one. The homie that they love the most. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go crazy. Okay. Hit for the streets, dude. Say it, you hear me? Right, too, man. Man, but yeah, man, get that up, man. TSA underscore podcast. And before we get out the bitch, I only got one question for you. Is your home? Always, always. Oh my god, oh, fucking